Hello, Space Boys and Aviation Lovers. Today, you join me here at Dublin Airport for the British Airways flight from Airbus A321 here from here at Dublin down to Heathrow. Let's go. Now, getting through security at Dublin, there was a rather long queue. However, once few, you're greeted with some shops. Yes, World Duty Free is there, of course. And also some general Irish memorabilia shops. However, there are a good range of shops there, so if you like spending your time shopping in the airport before your flight, this is a good airport. Tower Bundle 2 at Dublin. Right, through security, that took quite a while. They could have got some more desk kick in there, I think. But um, we got through fine. No extra check this time. So now it's time. We've got a gate already, which I find unusual, because uh, it's still like an hour and 30 minutes, it looks like. But um, let's head to the gate, do some things about it. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, some more shops as I walk to my gate today, gate 204. To the gate where I was able to see the aircraft for today. And you just gotta love BA boarding groups. 204. All other passengers, please assemble using the correct boarding lane. Thank you. A quick check of my boarding pass and passport, and I was through to board. Or not. Yes, again. Hashtag boarding, not boarding. Now, today we weren't boarding via the jetway, which gave me the great opportunity to get some shots of our aircraft today. Here we go then, folks. British Airways, Airbus A321 here. Today's aircraft registered Golf Dash November Echo Oscar Yankee, Golf Dash Neoi, is an Airbus A321neo aircraft delivered brand new to British Airways in June 2020. Whilst I was waiting to board, I was lucky enough to spot this Ryanair 737 pulling it into the gate. Some airside planes running. Yeah, we're going to Now, as I boarded the British Airways aircraft, as you'd expect, it's in the standard 3x3 three three configuration. Now, time to find my seat. Today, I was sat in seat number 29C. Now, no window seat, which unfortunately means no takeoff row in today's video. However, here's some of the sounds I caught from the takeoff row. Today's routing took us west out of Dublin before making a right-hand turn to the southeast over the Irish Sea entering the UK around Hollyhead in Wales before making our descent over Birmingham and over central London into Heathrow. Flight time, 56 minutes. Now there is internet available, however I did not choose to purchase this. It was around £2.99 for the messaging service or £4.99 for the streaming service for, for the full flight. There is however a free flight tracking portal which can be accessed from your phone. Okay folks, time to take a look around the seat for today. There was a tray table provided, smaller than some of the other airlines I've been on, however it was clean, and there is also a coat hanger provided. There were individual reading lights and, and individual air vents. Now the crew came around with a complimentary snack and drink service, which I did not expect. Today on board, I got a small pack of love corn and a bottle of water. And trust me, since recording this video, I have brought many big packs of that love corn. It is very nice, good marketing technique. Now, there's not really much for me to say about the water. It's water. Now, due to the Euro business class at the front of the cabin, during the flight and the service, there was only one toilet available to economy passengers. Which, however, it was very clean. Now, unfortunately, the microphone pack did not work properly on this flight, so I'm going to have to do the voiceovers. The seat also had a USB charging port, which was available in between. My seat did not recline, and nor did it have a headrest like it done on the Aer Lingus flight earlier in the day. However, if you paid for the seats up front, they do have the movable headrest and the seats to recline. However, this seat was still very comfortable, and whilst we're on approach, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And we were down. Now onto the pricing of today's trip. Now today's flight cost me just £28.24. Now the crew were very kind and let me go in the flight deck. Now you may not be aware, but I am a massive flight simulator fan and I fly steady level aircraft all the time. And the A321 is the one I fly the most, so it was great to go and hit the cockpit. Deboarding via stairs as the other aircraft had to cast down, unfortunately. However, we got a great airside bus tour, which I found pretty cool as you get to see all the behind the scenes of London Heathrow Airport.
Now then, we had to walk from the ground upstairs into the jet bridge, which should be connected to our aircraft. However, it was connected to the other aircraft that took our stand. But he is me explaining it a little bit better. So basically, there was an issue with the stand. So we had to go to our remote stand, get a bus to this stand, and then go up the stairs to the stand. And this stand actually goes to that aircraft, our aircraft behind it. So um, something to do with the passport control uh, zones with us being with us flying in from Dublin. Uh, they can only use this stand apparently. Anyway, first, also first ever time airside here on the Heathrow. We've been here many, many times plane spotting, but never actually been on a flight here inbound, outbound. So never been airside. So this is uh, going to be an interesting one. And finally, after what felt like walking the London Marathon, I had finally found some steps that took us down to the arrival hall. Now, we came from international arrivals, however, we did not need a passport check or any checks to enter the UK. And from. finally, we had reached a baggage reclaim area. I had no bag to reclaim today, however, I just followed the path and the crowds to the arrivals. Now, as I approach the famous international arrival sign at London Heathrow, I want, to, I want you to listen out to something that somebody says to me as I walk past it. Interesting at Oslo they had the passports and then the baggage might be the way we connected because we were non Schengen. We're non Schengen now, but it's fingers class is domestic, so And here we are, the famous international arrival sign where many people take images. However, would I be allowed today? Instead of making any interactions, I just continued filming and walked on as she did clearly not work for the airport. Now at Heathrow there's a range of arrivals, cafes and shops. Once more, bus stop 25, right, all the way down here. Eventually, I did find where the buses would take me to the car park, which is where I'll be picked up from today. And it's time for me to give British Airways a rating. Well, this ticket was very, very cheap. And I would pay the extra 10 to 12 pounds over Ryanair. This is because you get more room, you get a better baggage allowance, comfy a seat, and complimentary snacks on board. However, would I be happy paying the extra £80 if the flight was this expensive? Well, I don't really know. My experience with Ryanair was pretty good. However, if I was travelling with a lot of luggage, I would go for British Airways. Let me know what you thought of British Airways in the comments down below. And I hope you've all enjoyed this video today. Now, once again, if you have enjoyed today's video and you want to see some more trip reports I've created, I've created many there out there on the channel, including Tui, Ellingus and Ryanair. And please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time here on Brown and Plane Spotter 23. Bye for now.